Alright guys, welcome back. I'm Rafe Lee. You guys are watching Gone Home for the PC. Last time we uh, learned that we are playing as Caitlin Greenbrier, who is, who I, I think is a 21 year old who just came back from a, I'm guessing something to do with school for a school, I don't know, European trip or something like that. Uh, she's back home. But uh, things are a little bit weird. There's nobody home, it seems. And I've just been reading letters. But uh, I left you with this little... Oh, I wonder what's in the backpack thing. So let's go do that. Welcome, new student. We hope that you are as excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes. So that you can get right into the swing of things. I did you just hear a voice? I I just I, I'm losing it. Okay, <laughs> one sturdy folder with pockets for each of your six class periods. One line notebook per period, or one large notebook with six divided sections. These six pens, blue or black ink, and six pencils. One box of colored pencils, a standard combination lock for your sign locker, a nutritious lunch, or $2.50 for a lunch provided by a school cafeteria, and a positive attitude. Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before, and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. See you soon, and again, welcome. Beth Valence Principal. That's actually pretty similar to what they told me in high school. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Hmm. The Psycho House Girl. So something must have happened in this place for that reaction to happen. Right, this room's pitch dark. This is gonna be great. Okay, nothing. Good. Telephone directory. I I would give them like an a hundred like a ten out of ten if they had like a whole bunch of just phone numbers and that directory, and I could just look through it like thousands of pages. But alas, they do not. Got some more interesting stuff. Examine form. Uh, name of issued applicant, Terrence Greenbrier. Property address, 1 Arbor Hill. Boone County or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Policy binder number 009412A-A. Does the entire electrical system meet local codes? Yes. Are there any deficiencies with which need correcting? Unclear. If yes, describe in detail. Wiring in house is technically up to safety and and amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added to structure over the last 100 years. System is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuits wired directly behind the surface property. Well, properly. Reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and fixtures of the, of the structure. After discussion with Mr. Greenbrier, since there are no current safety concerns, issues will not be addressed. Company name, Black Cat Electrical Company. 
license number 598941. Electrician, na electrician name Harold Price Jr. I hereby certify that at the time of the survey that electrical service at this location is safe and adequate or I have noted said def deficiencies above. Alright, so 9, so September 2nd, 94. Right. And yeah, I, if you go to this, it tells you what Crouch is. <laughs> so yeah, uh, don't yell at me in the first part for being an idiot. I know. So I can review journals also. Okay. Do, 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 do. I don't know if I'll read this one because it's just a lot of of nonsense. Yeah, I'll just you can read the top if you want, but I'll just read the bottom. They say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization. A specialization. Oh my God! I screwed up that word twice. Specialization. But sure, sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LD slash CD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular. Okay. Is that like a typewriter kind of thing? Or a fax machine maybe? I don't know. Uh, doesn't seem like anything. Okay. Like, I, I'm going to be mad if I miss something just because I'm being dumb. Alright, nothing there. Three ring binder. Can we look inside of it? There's something in there. There's white paper. I guess not. Um, this probably doesn't have anything in it, but whatever. We're going to check. Atonement. Is there another atonement book? What is that word? It itching? The complete I itching. Okay. That was weird. Let's control. Put that down. Can't read the newspaper. from there. Alright, so this room didn't really have too much. Oh, I didn't check this though. The killing of JFK, Benjamin Allman, a theory. I know, I totally just read it out of order, but <laughs> forgot to mention uh, the author's name. You've seen the movie, Discover the Truth. Interesting. I'm gonna read a little back thing, whatever it's called. A superb work of speculation, plotted with amazing skill, showing a level of mag magnetic, magnetic. I cannot talk today. Magnetic artistry usually present in such academic pieces. In Trammel, a thrilling theory. I couldn't put this book down. S. O'Reilly. An important look at the circumstances surrounding one of the greatest tragedies of all time. I wonder if he's got, like, if he, that one's part, like, like, if he's saying, like, the guy behind the, the wall did it, or the bush guy, or something. Alright, you need a combination. 
Hmm. So I'm guessing the combinations in this room. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them. The stars. Twinkling as if he were lying in the grass. In, a, in his family's yard in Massachusetts. Even though that place was a million miles away. No. He blinked the sleep from his eyes looking through the carbon reinforced safety, safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. Oh, there's three pages. All right. John Russell's head swam. It kind of seems like a waste of paper. He's, he's not using up all the paper. <laughs> head swam. He felt incredibly drunk. <laughs> all right, that's kind of what I did not expect. Despite not having touched a drop in hours, he vomited onto his feet, his bare feet. He stared for a moment. I don't know what that's going to be, but processing his sick, flecked toenails, scanning up his bare shins, bare knees. He was completely naked. Okay. Uh, he looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic then fabric that strained that seems to contain her generous bosom o okay <laughs> was emblazoned with the phrase matter transference operator then he passed out I don't know if I want to read the next page Let's do it. John Russell had crossed the gap, the gap in time. Only messages had has passed before. But now, a man may need him now more than ever. Changing the past was no longer good enough. The instructions from the council had been clear. What to what to what to procure, what to construct from it. How to assemble it so he made the machine. How to transport him bodily across time. And now he stood there on the bridge of the, the starship Archimedes. Command, commander of the vessel, because only he who had saved the president's life twice before could helm the naive crew to their destiny. The fate of the galaxy. I don't know if that was just me, but it seemed to get more and more like the, it, the spelling was all messed up. Let me uh, read that. I'm going to shut this drawer. I'm glad that he did not continue on with that one story. JFK I need to get closer. I need to get closer. Books to... Back to basics. Sim back. Can I zoom in or anything? No, I can't. Chinese, Japanese, Lebanese. I'm just kind of skimming this. Yeah, I, I can't really read that. It's too far away. Or maybe my eyes just really suck. Alright, so we gotta remember there is a file cabinet there. So we'll make sure we, if we notice any codes, we can do it. Hey, that's an interesting light switch. I've never seen one of those before. Very rainy day. I guess Portland is a very rainy city. True stories. I was a teenage drag queen. <laughs> okay. Fresh. Readers tell us about their worst moments. 90210, does anybody still care? The male gaze, how to subver subvert it. Sarah Holst, no gathering moss. 
Okay. I read fresh every week. I'm a weekly uh, subscriber to that. Don't judge. It's very good. That seems like something I can interact with. A Stranger Under My Roof. The number one best-selling advice book for parents of teens. Dr. Al Alyssa Medina. A Stranger Under My Roof, Understanding Teens. The teen years are fraught with change of all types, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. But these changes don't just affect your teen. Your teen's turbulent years are a challenge for parents as well. Maybe the biggest challenge you've faced you've yet faced since having children. This book holds insights into your teen's behavior from the very beginning as he or she first enters adolescence. Up through the end of teen years as he or she enters young adulthood. The practical strategies here are based upon well tested principles of pediatric psychology presented by Dr. Alyssa Medina, herself a mother of two teenagers, prepared to gain new tools for establishing a productive, healthy, and loving dialogue with a stranger under your roof. I never had such a, such a good conversation with my daughter, Elena Shepard, the Atlantic. These simple tool, tools can make all the difference to a relationship with your child. Sean Kelleher, Northwest Review of Books. I never liked those books. <laughs> yeah, throw on the ground. We don't need it. This is just really entertaining, I thought. Like, just reading these random stuff. <gasps> oh, is that the code? November 1st, 1994. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth, from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it. Not mine to cut back to it, but there... But then it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non-sequiturs from the unusable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of home theater aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the harbor, not ruminations on your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But, but, but David's known you for a long time. And he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on this say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look for your own stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Brent Kurtwood, Reviews Editor, Home Theater Aficionado Magazine. Uh, I'm a subscriber to that, too. Very, very good magazine. So 0451. I don't miss anything. Maybe that plant has something. We don't know. Until we find out. No, it does not. Okay. Right, I think it's just her footsteps. That was freaking me out before. <laughs> Unless there's a axe killer in the room. It's probably that one kid who's the axe killer who I played Nintendo with. Oh, gosh. Throw on the ground. We don't need it. Grab Dad's second book. The Accidental Pariah. Okay, so Terrence Greenbrier is her dad. So Terrence in uh, inherited this house from the guy who died. Alright. A message from our future saved the president's life once, but within the next 24 hours, there will be another attempt, and the lines of com communication are down. A James Bond for today's audience. Casey DeWitt. A mock now. Compelling. A thriller worth its salt. David Pittman. Vaster. So he seems to be really into JFK assassinations. Right, 
Uh, I see another thing underneath all those books. It seems to be a nudie magazine. Gosh, Dad. Okay. <laughs> a magazine for men, gentlemen. February 1989. Japan's bloody war on dolphins. Moscow by night, drugs, prostitution, the mafia. But new rules of love. Ladies in the ring, the woman of wrestling. All right. Way to go, Dad. <laughs> okay, so it was 0451. Make sure I don't miss anything. That's nothing. Watch, there's gonna be a whole bunch of those magazines in here. Why does it start at 7? That's kind of a weird number to start off. Go for five seven. Dang it! I already forgot it. It's either five seven or five one. Did it work? I don't think so. O four five one. That's yeah. Maybe that's it. There we go. Yeah, I was I was wrong, but I I, I still got it. Nope, open that thing back up. Cubelic and Wise, Attorneys at Law, 21 Front Street, Boone County, Oregon. Dear Mr. Masson, please find your, find enclosed, please find enclosed in your original documents a tight copy for your records. A notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Sincerely, Jeffrey Wise, Kubelik and Wise, Attorneys at Law. Will and Testament. Oh, man, this is going to be a lot of reading. I, Oscar Masson, processing full competence of mind and memory, and after full survey of valued items, to my name, do hereby declare this document my last will and testament. The following shall hold true upon my passing. I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am unmarried and have no children. I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name to any creditors living or dead. I do hereby bequeath every item of value which I may which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill as well as any and all personal property and money accounts to my nephew Terrence L. Green Breyer Jr. of Ellis County. In the event that said Terrence L. Green Breyer Jr. should predecease me, then in such event the, the bequest to him shall fall and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. I subscribe my name to this will this 13th day of August, 1973. Signed, Oscar Masson. Mason, Masson. I'm going to go Mason or Masson. I don't know which one. We're going to go Mason. Okay. Will and Testament. I, Oscar, or Mason, processing fall. Competence of mind and matter and after... Oh gosh, this is going to be terrible to read. After full survey of valued items to mit my name, do you hereby declare... Alright, so I'm gonna, that's the exact same thing I just read, basically. It's just a real... Alright, yep, yeah, okay. So that's just a handwritten one. Good thing, I could barely read that. So that's the wills to the house. Uh, close this baby up. Anything else in there? No. Okay. Uh, we got that room. Like, each part's gonna be me just exploring a room to its full extent because there's so much to read and learn. I'm still not sure what's going on or 
what the story is going to be about, but it's interesting. There's a T. Sam thought this might help Dad. Making friends even when you... Philip Ackerman. Feeling lonely? It's a piece of cake to make friends. Never worry again about having friends to spend time with. This book will, will teach you to make friends even when you're shy. I'm guessing that's what it says. Making friends even when you're shy. So Sam has... You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Okay, play Street Fighter, Nintendo. Okay. So, I believe that girl she was talking about was that uh, Del Soto, or Del Soto, in, the, in that uh, one drawer. Over there. So I'm gonna. I have like a theory what this is gonna be about now, <laughs> but I'm. I'm not gonna say it. Please be pizza. Ah, oh, there's no pizza. Um, I'll think I'll wrap it up there. Not. I mean, it doesn't seem like I accomplished much, but there's a. Uh, it's just you know. It's just enjoying the game, just reading it all, letting it all take in, soak in. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just save right here, so I know to grab that cassette and put it in there. Uh, so next part, we're gonna explore this whole room, which seems like there's gonna be quite a bit. Uh, still, like I said, I'm not sure what the story is gonna be about. I do have a theory, but that's, uh, it's a very it's not, it's very, it's going on very little, so, we'll continue to learn more about this story, and what's going on. We haven't even been, we've only been in like four rooms, and, yeah, I mean, four rooms, that's all we've been in, and I'm pretty sure there's probably like 30 of them. So, I'm gonna, yeah, like, I'll wrap it up here, let me know if you guys want me to speed it up, or if you'd like my pace. Uh, let me know. Just let me know if everything's okay. So, I'm Marie. If you guys watching, gone home. Come on, if you guys watching, and I will see you guys in the next part. Thanks for watching.